Hey guys, it's Chico. He provides. Um, what a weird winter it's been. We had some bone chilling below zero weather for a couple of weeks and well, maybe almost three, but uh, and here it is. Now it's 50 degrees outside, sunshine. Um, I was out a good portion of the day with just a t shirt on. Uh, who knows? Um, they, Indiana, they say, if you don't like the weather, hang around a little while, it'll change. So anyway, this uh, video is not about the weather. It's about learning lessons. Um, and we've learned a lesson or two with the chickens. Let me show you one. Okay. See our rose bushes all leaned over. And look at him going to town where our sedum is and our uh, mint. I'm sure they won't harm the mint. But let me back up. So, rosebush. That, that hole's actually me trying to find enough dirt to, to replace it on the rosebushes. Um, but down here where Bertha's at, there was never any mulch down here. The mulch only came to about here. And they have scooped and scratched and kicked. And, and it's a good, oh, four feet further down than it used to be. And over there in front of the steps, it was never over there. So while I'm cool with them getting protein and, and free food, and I'm also okay with them turning the mulch, and fertilizing I'm not okay with them completely digging stuff up so lesson learned uh, my wife not happy about the rose bushes she likes the rose bushes you know now if they could just dig up we've got some briars right there if they could just dig up the briars I'd be okay with that so lesson learned um, I'm still, I don't work well in the winter, arthritis, cold's not my friend. Um, I am going to replant those rose bushes today while we've got some 50 degree weather. Uh, so, and so they don't die. And it's partly my fault that I didn't prune them back in the fall. Had I pruned them back in the fall, the tops wouldn't have been so heavy and they wouldn't have been so likely to fall over. So it's not completely all of the chicken's, uh, fault. However, lesson learned, and we are going to, when the weather breaks in the spring, we will rake this all back, we'll bring in more mulch, and we are going to fence off this area around here to keep the chickens from digging things up. So, and I know that we'll have to do the same with all our raised beds. Um, but I never really thought about them digging so much that they would literally uproot rose bushes. So, lesson learned. We're gonna make it work, and I'm gonna replant some rose bushes. Um, I'll bring you back here in a bit and show you uh, the job I done on the rose bushes, and you tell me what you think. Um, and please uh, like, share, subscribe. Um, tell your friends and neighbors and family about our channel if you like what we're doing please share it please let folks know um, if you've got any comments questions or concerns please leave them in the comment section below and if you have a better way to keep those ladies from digging up my wife's rose bushes I would appreciate it well as is with so many things on the homestead it takes longer than you planned. Um, tried to shovel dirt in to, pro, you know, to get them the roots covered better and to get them upright. Uh, then found that the top weight was a hassle and I was getting poked. So then I thought, well, you know, it's 50 degrees. Let's take a chance and go ahead and prune them. So I went ahead and pruned them. But, you know, it took me a half hour to find my loppers. Uh, had to move everything in the shed. Well, had to move a third of everything in the shed. Then, you know, had to come back and lop them. 
then I had to dig out the hole and I'm going to plant something else in that hole something with some medicinal value I believe so lopped them all off I don't know if I've done a great job or a poor job or somewhere in between um, but then I dug dirt out of here shored them up and I, I'll say a prayer over them and, and I hope they'll and I pray they'll get through the winter and they'll bloom in the spring um, of course then you know I had to move this and then realize you know there was like 30 pounds of water in that pot so I had to drain it out <laughs> it just you know how it is a little thing like you gotta shore up the roses takes a lot longer than you think We've got more roses over here I'll have to tend to, and we've got roses around the back. Um, the roses, these two here are really just for, for being pretty, but the rest, the other rose bushes that we have are uh, a security measure. They're outside windows, um, you know, just to kind of keep people honest. So I'm going to go ahead and prune those over. I don't think the, the ladies have pecked around and scratched and dug around those like they did these up here but you know on one final note before I ramble on where they're scratching now this is all mint and it kind of takes over so if they if they dig up half of this mint we'll still be fine so hey guys appreciate you coming along thank you for your support um, Godspeed guys